All right, let's talk about how to make a lead generation quiz in 89 minutes. My name is Josh Hanum. I'm the co-founder of Interact Quiz Builder. We are a quiz builder that was invented or built 10 years ago. We've helped more than 10,000 clients generate over 80 million leads using quizzes. It's super great. Average conversion rate is 40% across our entire portfolio. So I want to take you through a process for getting a lead generation quiz up and running really quickly because the biggest problem that most people run into is that they just it takes too long. It takes too long to build a quiz. It gets put on the side. You know, I talk to people all the time that wanted to do this in 2014, 2013, seven or eight years ago, and maybe nine, 10, and they're just getting around to it now. So this morning I sat down and I created a quiz front to back. It took me 89 minutes. I had a timer going and I want to show you that process because this is how you can get something up and running really quickly. Now, Interact has a lot of advanced features and we can go really in depth with things, but I just want to show you how to get a V1 up and running very quickly so that you can get something going, see the conversion rate, see that it's working, and then invest more time if you choose to. Okay, so I started off by writing everything down in a notebook. This is just how I like to do my process. Helps me focus. You can do the same thing in a Google Doc or whatever docs you use. Basically what I have here is I have my title and the results of my quiz and then the questions and what I'm going to put on the opt-in form. So what's going to go on that actual lead gen form. I just wrote out some kind of general thoughts. I didn't overthink it too much. I have five results from my quiz. I also have five questions written down here. It ended up being seven. Somewhere between five and seven questions. You can go up to ten and then somewhere between three and six results. Doesn't need to be too precise here as long as you're within those ranges. Don't go like crazy with the questions. Okay, next step is to draw out how my quiz actually works. And this might look really complicated, um, but you know, in the in the moment when you're building this, and I'll show you what it looks like in actual the interact quiz builder, it's not crazy because it's really just a series of yes, no answers, like. You know, I start off with my, my quiz is called what's the what's the thing you should focus on to build your business. So the first question I ask is, do you have enough demand? Like, do you have enough clients coming in the door? And the answers are basically yes and no. And if you have yes, then I start to drill down into what other areas of the business you might want to work on. And if it's no, then it's like, OK, well, if you don't have demand, then nothing else matters. So focus on that first. So this is what I do first. I write it all out and I kind of go through my tree here. Then I jump over to interact. This is the dashboard. This is what it looks like. Super simple to use. It's kind of our thing. We just want to be the easiest to use quiz builder. You can create a new quiz and use a template. Uh, I'll show you that here because this is actually the fastest way like to get something up and running. Like you can choose branding and design or entrepreneurship. A bunch of really great templates here written by experts. This is how you get something up in like 10 minutes. I can do a separate video on that. But for this one, I'm just going to go back to my dashboard and look at the quiz that I built out because I did, again, build out this entire quiz in 89 minutes. So here it is. What should you focus on to grow your business? I'm going to go in to edit this and show you what I did, like what steps I followed to get this thing going. The first thing that I did was I changed the font out. Um, this is a Mont Montserrat. I don't know how to say that font. It's the closest thing to our font that's on Google Fonts. You can also uh, use Typekit to actually import in the correct font. But in the interest of time, I chose to put that one off till later. Uh, then I have a cover photo here and a description. And then I changed this button color to be one of our brand colors uh, just by doing this. Okay. So that's how that works. And then I went and built out my results. That was the next step that I did. Uh, my results are, there's five results, build a content plan, partnerships, delegation, user research, and product improvement. I have a video for each result. I think that's best practice right now. It's 2022, about to be 2023. Video is huge. Definitely recommend that. You can just pop in a YouTube URL and it populates here. Um, in an ideal world, I would have my own videos for each of these results, but I just found some videos from partners of ours at Interact, popped them in here for now because I just wanted a placeholder, and then eventually I'll get back to building out all those videos. So that's just an example, right? Like you don't have to have every single element of this figured out to launch. 
you can just get it going. Then I have a button to browse content about content, which I found to be funny. Um, so those are my results. Again, there are five of them, depending on what I'm going to recommend you should focus on to build your business. Okay, then I go into the questions and I write out all my questions. So we, I'm doing a branching quiz, but you just write out all the questions first so that you can have them in here. So I have uh, seven or eight questions that go into my quiz. Then I go into branching logic and I set up my map. And this is how someone flows through the quiz. I'll zoom out a little bit so you can see this. Basically, it starts with how is demand for your business? If it's great, then you go one way. If it's not great, you go the other way. And then you kind of just like filter through these questions. The red uh, blocks are the results. So this is, you know, you get this result. So for example, right, if you say that uh, demand is slow and you don't have organic traffic, then I say build a content plan. If you say demand is slow, uh, but you do have organic traffic, then I say, do you have strong brand partnerships? And if you don't, then I say, focus on partnerships. Oh, and I have a couple of missing blocks here at the end. So I'll actually show you this in real time because I should have done this. Again, you can do this in real time and it will update on the quiz. You don't have to do anything. So do you have repeat business? Um, yes, we have a strong brand. Then I would say you should focus on delegation. So that's that one and then if you don't then you should focus on product so pop that in there boom 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 super easy again okay now 89 minutes and 30 seconds because i actually spent another 30 seconds on this okay now i have all my results and my questions in here i'm going to click save map and go back and then i went into lead generation i connected this up to hubspot which is what we use for our emails Here's what the form looks like. Oh, I also need to enable my GDPR compliance. So I consent to Interact's um, privacy policy and terms of use. And I can link those right here. Try interact.com slash privacy. So as you can see, like I'm I'm showing some of these examples here because this is how I recommend building quizzes is in, in this iterative process. The number one mistake I see people doing is wanting to have everything built out before they launch a quiz and they end up just getting stuck forever. So I have my integration here and then I have my results. Now, because I wanted to get this up and running quickly, I added all of my results to the same workflow in HubSpot but you can add each result to a different workflow. So segment your list based on which result someone gets. You can do the same thing for every question and answer on the quiz. So you can get crazy personalized, but I just did the most basic. I put everybody on a welcome sequence and I just said, hey, do you wanna get our newsletter? And then I published this and I published my changes and I put it into a WordPress uh, blog post because it just pops in really nicely. I'm gonna show you the options for, for promoting it. You can do an embed code. You can do an announcement bar on your site. You can do a pop-up. And then we also have instructions for building out a Facebook ad. I just did a simple one and put it into my blog post here. And I can take the quiz right inside the blog post, which is really cool. So nope. And then I answer this. And it says I should build a content plan. So that's it. That's how I built this whole quiz out. Again, 89 minutes to time myself. If you are looking to do something with lead gen quizzes, this is what I recommend doing. Like just sit down and knock it out in an hour or two. Don't overthink it too much because you can get, you know, 50 to 80% of the results that you would get if you built the whole thing out. And you can also rapidly iterate on different quiz ideas if you're doing it this way, instead of spending like three to six months building out a whole plan and then you launch it and it's just not right for your audience. So definitely, definitely recommend this. You can go to our site and start a trial to build this out. You can also talk to an expert if you would prefer that. And this is just an amazing way of converting traffic into leads. We use it 
on our blog, we use it within blog posts, we have a pop-up going, we have an announcement bar going. So lots of different ways to use a quiz as a lead magnet, as a way of generating good leads for your business and also learning a lot about them because you can see analytics on the people that answer the quiz. So this is my 89 minute guide on building out a lead generation quiz.